And what, what's the data on that? I mean, uh, is there data that shows a more confrontational approach works uh, versus um, a more compassionate kind of, um, or, or is this, com is, or is there just a general psychology that, um, you know, you think about marketers, right? If, if you kind of reel people in through a soft approach, but again, I, what I see, especially on the other side, which is a, um, a more liberal kind of um, all allowing uh, social ethic, I see that they're very aggressive. Mm -hmm. And, and you know, that if, if you disagree with them, you're immediately like called out, right? But again, and I'm seeing that it's working. So I tend to lean more towards uh, mid aggressive, assertive, you know, but what, is there any data on this or is there any type of um, research that shows or is, or is this out of our own experiences? Well, just from my experience, and I've been in the pro-life ministry since 1983 when I was born again, mm -hmm. and we do know statistically that the graphic images actually do work. I remember many years ago in Atlanta, Georgia, at the Martin Luther King Park, I had a pro-life meeting, and I showed just, a, I just had one graphic slide inside. And at that time, the young lady who's now in her early 20s, she was about 13 years old. And she says, I'm so glad you showed that. It was so difficult for me to see that. But I, I never, it would not have caught my attention if I didn't know what abortion does. So it is appropriate at certain times. If you think mm -hmm. about Emmett Till's mother, mm -hmm. and for the listeners that don't know about Emmett Till, make sure you look it up. He was supposedly attacked for glancing at a Caucasian girl. He was a young uh, teenager, and he supposedly looked at one, and he was lynched, caught, beat, killed, and his mother said, I want his coffin open because I want people to see what mm. racism does mm -hmm. to people. And that went viral. And it <laughs> certainly did. And, and now every, it, any, every anniversary is shown. And so Martin Luther King Jr. even said, America will not reject racism until America sees racism. Mm -hmm. And so... When the imagery came out across the nation with people being slaughtered, beat, and all of that, America be finally became shocked. Well, some so, people say it, the civil rights movement would not have been as successful as it did without it the couldn't. press. He said it, that you had to see it. And he, and and he so leveraged that like crazy. He did. Yeah. And so with the babies, it's the same thing. But it should not be the only way. And I always say, if you're going to roll it out, because I'm post-abortive, and today sometimes I can take it, sometimes I can't when I see them. I say, but at the end, have a picture of Christ with his arms open. Mm -hmm in the narrative with the truth that there is forgiveness and hope. And a lot of times when we just do the shock treatment with the images without that, it will anger or frighten someone. Yeah, I know Chuck Swindoll, yeah. the, the famous uh, uh, preacher, said that um, when you deliver truth and it doesn't end with an invitation to grace, hmm. it's like giving birth to a stillborn. That's Because you, you, you've shocked them with the truth, but you haven't given them a way out you've given them to, no to deal with to their go. sin. That's like all the movies that have Jesus on the cross and it is there. I'm saying, can you please show him going into hell, defeating Satan, rising people. again, <laughs> and where give us the hope as well. Well, there's that and theory so, of just keep it open-ended, let people figure it out. No, how you, know? you got to figure it out if nobody tells you the good news? Oh, my God. <laughs> 